Avengers! Assemble. Welcome back to the channel. It's the Pre Avengers here, guys, and welcome back to another Marvel Feature Fight video. And today we're on a screen that we haven't seen in a long time. We're looking at our cards because today we got four premium cards saved up, and we're gonna get into some re-rolling. So if you don't remember, because I don't even remember, I had to look back at YouTube. Two months ago was our last premium card video, and we basically hit 22% peers. And now that we're at 22% peers, we're at a spot where we don't really need to hit 25% peers. What we need to do is re-roll all these uh, blue stars into the right stats. Because, for example, here, on this uh, Quicksilver card, the very first stat here is a blue star, and it's Cold Resist. First of all, that's not going to do anything for our account, especially when you have better options like Energy Attack, Physical Attack, or All Basic Attack Increase. And that's basically what's going to make your account better. It's going to make your character stronger. And there's certain other ones like HP that are going to help you in Timeline. So we're basically trying to re-roll the perfect cards now. We got the set of cards we want. We got the pierce. Now we need to go in and re-roll them to get the perfect stats along with that pierce. So there may be some times where we're a little bit lower than 22% pierce, maybe higher. Uh, who knows when we're re-rolling these. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But we're going to do these every two months uh, We're gonna because you get four premium cards every two months if you uh, are constantly playing. And today we have four now, finally, uh, two months later. Um, so yeah, we're going to be seeing these videos every two months, and right now we're going to go ahead and go open this chest to get our fourth premium card here, um, and like I said, it doesn't matter who we get, we got Luna, okay, um, and we're going to go ahead and get straight into re-rolling. Today, we are picking the Spider-Man, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man uh, card, and we're going to re-roll this bad boy, so let's go through and see uh, what we need. So first of all, Physical attack is good, but I really want all basic attacks. So we're going to re-roll that. On this stat, I'm going to keep cooldown. Um, crit rate and attack speed are helpful too, but I need cooldown as well. I don't want to get lower on that. So that is the only one that we're locking. The rest we're re-rolling. Here, we need crit damage. Here, we'd probably stay on uh, crowd control time. Oh, actually, so yeah, we'd lock this one too. My bad. Um, and then here, we'd get max HP. And then here, we'd either go with recovery rate or dodge. Um, so basically we need those stats, but we also need them to re-roll blue. So if you can imagine how hard it's been to get all the stars blue, getting them to re-roll on blue and the stat that you need is even harder. So yeah, let's go ahead and see. But I thought I'd start off with the Spidey card because no matter what we do, um, we'll have a 22% pierce. We won't get lower than 22% pierce because we're locking two blue stars and we only need one other star to be blue. Um, so it's not going to affect us too much. I didn't want to get straight away into one of these other cards that were going to affect our account a lot if we start uh, re-rolling and not ending up with the same amount of peers. Like I said, that's going to end up happening eventually, but I just thought, why not start off with not doing that? Um, so let's get straight into this. So it's going to cost uh, four premium cards, some crafting uh, uh, cubes, but we got plenty of those. Um, some gold, we don't need that much, and the only thing that's going to hurt us a lot other than the premium cards, is crystals. It is going to cost a decent amount of crystals trying to lock some of these. So let's get straight into this. Wish me luck. Hopefully this goes well. We only can lock two of them. And let's go ahead and get straight into crafting. We got four tries. Hopefully we can at least um, get at least two of these stars squared away. Would be pretty nice. Um, so then next time we can kind of finish out this. But we'll have to see. Um, and here we go. Please. Okay, we got blue. Okay, so we got one blue. So that's the one we got to pay attention to. And we got cold resist. So that's not going to cut it. We're going to have to re-roll that again. That's not even close to what we want. Um, but yeah, uh, the other stars aren't even the right color. So yeah, let's keep this train rolling. And it's 100 crystals, meaning we're going to spend 400 here today. Ouch. Uh, but we're fine there. And we got one blue. And it is all basic attack increase. Beautiful. That is awesome. All right, that's one down. That's going to increase. We were at 68% all basic attack before. So now we're going to be able to go ahead and see after this um what we get and now that you see that i locked three stars 
we got 150 crystals now. So yeah, it's gonna add up as we get more stars that uh, are perfect. We got two more here, three more stars. Here we go. Let's see what we get. All basic attack is awesome. Um, I'm actually really happy that we got that. We got another blue star, and it is crowd control time. Because we already have another one on crowd control time, I'm going to have to skip on that. Um, but we only have one more, so hopefully I don't regret doing this. Um, I think in the future, future self uh, of me will um, thank me for that. So here we go. One more, and we got no blue stars. We got all red stars, and we have almost all the right. We have all the right stats on the red stars. No, we have recovery rate, max HP, and crit damage. Those are the perfect stats, except we needed them to be blue. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Okay, that is interesting actually, because now we have concentration. It used to be kind of, a lot of people really wanted it back in the day so that when you crafted or uh, combined your uh, custom gears, apologies, your CTPs, you'd have a better chance at getting your uh, brilliance. But then people realized that Pierce is just way more valuable. So it's kind of interesting that that's what it gave me. Uh, kind of got a little trolled there again. Kind of funny. Um, but let's take a look at our stats now. So first of all, we kept 22% Pierce. We have 2% concentration now. Um, we're at a total of 79% all basic attack increase, and we were at 88 before, so that's amazing. That went up 11%. Um, crit damage also went up a decent amount. Um, and then what was the other stat? Recovery rate, which is at, if I can find it here, it's at 38% now. So yeah, not bad um, for four cards. Um, I'll take it just because of the all basic attack increase. That's really helpful. That'll help us do more damage in World Boss Legend and GBR, and along with Timeline will be helped with that recovery rate, um, and crit damage will help our characters as well when we go to try and max out their stats. So yeah, guys, that was it for the video. A quick short one here, not too long, um, but yeah, we're gonna have this every two months, so uh, make sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe so you know when those videos come out and when other videos come out, and please help me continue to the grind to get to the Star Creator Club by hitting that subscribe button and share this video out and the channel, please. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed as always, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.